something a little bit different here today for you guys. Uh, rather than doing the traditional battle cast, uh, Turner and I have decided to do an epic fight between uh, the forces of Tzinch and the foul forces of Nurgle. And uh, nothing I nothing I hate more than just plague-ridden, disgusting, pustulant ass bags like the work like Nurgle. But you know, neither here nor there. Uh, Nurgle is a. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, Nurgle is commanded by the mighty Turin today. Um, I am uh, using the forces of Tzinch. Uh, originally, I had gone with Corn, but there's just something a little bit more fun about uh, shooting fireballs at Turin nonstop. But we have a, a, a special map here where we've got some defense points here, defense points here, here, and one last one over here. Uh, so we kind of have a, a sufficient bottleneck for everything to come into. I'll go put this a little bit fast forward because Nurgle's slow and ponderous. Um, but things are pretty fun. Uh, this is a little bit more of an epic battle. We don't wanted to go with wanted to go with something a little bit more uh, thematic, and we figured what what better than uh, two chaos gods duking it out over control of uh, this lovely shrine. We have my uh, my units kind of forming up a little uh, hot gates action, a little uh, three three hundred type esque uh, choke point going on here. The beautiful shields and models that these uh, that this mod has got, I, I really enjoy it. I think it's actually called Ultimate Chaos. Uh, it's got mod. It's got units for everything. It's got Tzinch. It's got uh, your corn. It's got Nurgle. It's got Slanesh. But you get the really cool units here with uh, the bringers of K of change. They all have their little arms that are uh, reminiscent of uh, the typical kind of mutations we would see in in Tzinch followers. We've got our Chaos Lord of Tzinch as well. Corrupted arm, all disgusting and gnarly looking. A champion of Tzinch. And then we went with uh, two sorcerers. And this says metal, but that's pretty much the lore of Tzinch in this. Um, and uh, we see we've also got uh, my Knights of Tzinch and another unit of Knights as well. And uh, Nur uh, Turn going with his uh, Chaos Lord of Nurgle and then some other uh, warriors and whatnot. Uh, we're going to see what happens here as uh, the things really start to kick off. Uh, we've got a uh, a lot, a lot of matter to be done, because that's that's kind of Tzinch's, uh Ooh, first little spell going off. Boom! Look at that. Over a little over a, a little under a half of health uh, taken out right there. He's starting to charge into the into the hot gates. Another uh, firecracker being prepped up by uh, by my side. It looks like. Zoom! Oh man, just almost dead. That Chaos Lord of Nurgle getting nailed hard. Uh, but they do have a fleshy abundance, which is a plenty plus twenty percent damage resistance, and they do replenish hit points pretty quickly. But uh, we see Turin here marching into the hot gates with no with no heed or, or caution, with reckless abandon. Got his champion leading the charge with his scythe. Look at him, dude, just just hucking about. Dude, look at that. Let's get a load of that. Got some firecrackers going off in the background. It looks like he's going to be casting a spell here. I, I think it's called like a. Uh, plague of, of Nurgle or something like that. It's, it's a directional cone that does a lot of damage. Uh, Turin backfired there and shot it at his own guys. Not going to help him out too much. Um, all of my units do have a ton of magic resistance as uh, befitting to Zinch. We're going to get the first charge uh, charge into combat here. Got some uh, Nurgle and uh, to Zinch action going on. Let's just watch this clash happen. To Zinch just smashing right into the front lines. The Nurgle I wanted to say Plague Marines, that's 40,000. But the Nurgle Warriors getting tossed around and tossing some Zinch Warriors around as well. Um, in the tabletop, the Nurgle units typically have a lot more toughness, so a little bit more stalwart, a little more tanky and defensive. Um, this, but the Zinch is, is no slouch. You can definitely tell that, uh, that that magic resistance and the high leadership that is included in these units, um, they're going to be here to stay for a long time. But you can see also he, he has some Chaos Knights in the background. Um, or I'm sorry, Knights of Nurgle. So Nurgle's afflicted, which are essentially like zombies, afflicted with Nurgle Plague, and his uh, Plague Reapers of Nurgle as well, with their pretty awesome sides. Looks like we got a second charge coming in here. Looking to smash into our lines. My champion and my lord have, have marched forward to start getting some damage out on his, uh, on his champion. Overall, just a vicious cockfight ensues. Holding down this uh, this choke point, trying to do whatever we can. We got the uh, plague bears of Nurgle starting to do some gnarly damage. Ooh, another shot from the chaos sorcerer, knocking down that uh, chaos lord pretty hard and heavy. Ooh, looks like he got a really good uh, 
Plague Breath or whatever it's called of, of Nurgoloth doing a, a significant bit of damage to my uh, warriors here. Got some... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Got some glorious uh, Tizinch action coming. You will notice the frame rate drop a little bit as we start to see a lot of uh, spells start to coalesce onto the battlefield. Ooh, boom, another Nurgle, Nurgle explosion here. But not to worry, Tizinch has plenty of plans afoot as it brings down its its meteors from the heavens. Coming in hot, doing tons of damage. Dropping the frame rate significantly. <laughs> Really cool thing about these, uh, oh, boom, more Chinese firecrackers and, uh, not, uh, and, um, what's those things called? Roman candles going off like mi wild across the battlefield. That, there's that plague breath going right across, knocking on a significant amount of my warriors. It seems it's uh, Nurgle's boils, is what it's called. I've got, I've got my uh, Knights of Siege to do a rear flank charge here. I've got some uh, other Knights of Tiznich working on another tra charge as well. But uh, plenty of damage to be done. Plenty of uh, foes to slay with the magic of Tiznich. The changer of ways. The bird man himself. Got some plague bears starting to buckle on his line. I've already got a, a unit of warriors buckling. Bringing in some reserves with some bringers of change as well. Uh, the bringers of change are a polearm variant. They are... Uh, AP, so they're going to be pretty useful against a lot of those Chaos Warriors. Or what would be Chaos Warriors. Oh, another Chaos or Neural Explosion in the back there. More fling being done for my Warriors here. Not not looking too hot, but uh, there's plenty of tricks up, up the sleeve of the Changer of Ways, as is befitting his uh, mandate. Really going to get in close here for this. Get a sense of what's going on here. His Chaos Sorcerer in the center, using the lore of Nurgle. Oh, more, ch more, uh, more Chinese firecrackers going off. More Nurgle explosions happening. More rains from uh, Tiznich's heavens down onto our foes. Tons of spells just kicking off left and right here. That's where the heavy magic resistance is really coming in heavy, or uh, coming in. Uh, to good use with the the Tzinch warriors here. As you can see just across the battlefield, the, these uh, changer, or, I'm sorry, barriers of change, I think that's what they're called. Oh, another spell coming off over here. Another Nurgle explosion. They're just going left and right, dealing a heavy toll to my units here. But again, Tzinch does have his tricks as well, raining down more and more from the heavens. Chinese firecrackers, Roman candles, everything's just fucking going off like wild. It's like the 4th of July in the middle of Tzinch and Nurgle Hell. Nurgle's boils going off again. It's a uh, negative to damage resistance here. Some more explosions kicking through his units. They're really, It's really doing a ton of damage. As you can see, uh, my units have more magic resistance than his, so his spells aren't as effective as mine, but the whole debuffs uh, stacking is really not helping me out. That minus two uh, damage resistance is really not helping. Um, you can see the uh, Plague Reapers here really doing a number on my Knights of Tzinch. Not able to do much damage, especially with this Chaos uh, Lord of Nurgle just helping out to just slice and dice some units. The Hawkgate's really starting to buckle, though. You can see not much left on my, my side as far as units go. Chaos Lord shooting off some, some hefty damage spells, though. Unfortunately, though, with with the lore of Tzinch, you do have the the trouble of running into you know winds of magic being kind of uh, cramped and also being uh, kind of dry. So we can't we don't have the ability to use a lot of those sniping spells we used at the very beginning of the game to pop the uh, uh, try to pop the general. They probably would be better suited on the champions or his uh, lore of death wizard or lore of nerve wizards. Bringing in the uh, Chaos Lord here again, trying to reinforce the front lines. Units starting to buckle, low health, low leadership all the way around. But that champion of Zinj, man, he's really doing his he's really putting his all into it. You got that. His champion and his uh, wizard just sitting in the center though, just absorbing a lot of, a lot of the damage with, his, with the units around them. It's up and down, cleaving, repeated cleaving of the axes, just swinging and swinging and swinging. His plague bearers uh, still doing a pretty hefty amount of damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another Zin or another uh, Nurgle 
not explosion, but the, the cone spell. As you can see, things are really starting to really starting to get hectic here. Maybe do a tactical fallback, trying to hold up, hold the shrine down as it is. His army's in tatters, mine's more in tatters. <laughs> his general, though, in good health. His champion in good health. The, the Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle charging through the front line here. What does every Chaos Warrior need? Capes. Blue, shiny capes. Or if you're Nurgle, green, corpusculent capes. Or, I don't know, I guess I don't have capes. Just, just this man. More, more explosions going off. More firecrackers. More Nurgle explosions. More Tzinch raining from the heavens. <laughs> just delivering that punishment to uh, Nurgle for his foolish, cor corpulent ways. Those Plague Rippers, though, are doing a, quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit. They're, they do count as great axe infantry, so they're going to be doing that AP, that anti infantry. Or anti large. Sorry, armor piercing and uh, anti large with poison attacks. But a lot of my attacks are flaming, so that does negate a lot of the uh, benefit that he has when his regeneration. Boom, man, I love that ability. It's so odd, because you can use it so many times. It's not an actual spell, it's an ability of the hero and of the Lord of Tzinch. So that and uh, the reigning from above, you can pretty much cast repeatedly to uh, help yourself get a bit of a, an upper hand when it comes to spells or, or uh, closely packed units like this has been almost the entire fight. You can see the, the sorcerer there trying to give it his all. My Lord just being surrounded and butchered. Oh. Nurgle spells going off left and right. Oh, there goes a there goes a sorcerer. Only one left. The Lord on his last limb. Plague Reapers all around. Perhaps another spell. Oh, so it looks like a a duel of the generals going on here. My Lord versus his Lord. A quick one. A quick one. We can see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. my my units at that point had completely routed. Uh, things had taken quite quite the turn, but as you can see, those those abilities really racked up a, quite the tally: 165 and 124 kills on the hero and lord, respectively. Those kills were coming directly from the shots fired uh, from their their uh, Roman candle and uh, raining from the heavens abilities. Uh, really did, uh, I would say, a bulk of the damage. As you can see, you know, the knights didn't do too well, except for those ones that charged into the, the reapers that were doing the anti-large. But the bringers of change, uh, with their AP, weren't doing as stellar. I mean, really, that those champions were were, mocking, were, uh, were mopping up quite a bit. But I would do say that some of that was, some of those numbers are kind of inflated by the uh, Nurgle's Afflicted, because uh, there's quite a few in those unit counts. I think there's like 120 in them. Um, but hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this kind of epic battle between Nurgle and Tzinch. If you guys want to see more of these, do let us know. Uh, we both, uh, if you want to see turn inside of this battle from the Nurgle perspective, I don't know why you would. I don't know if you like mono or any other kind of uh, virus, or viral or uh, bacterial infection. But I guess if you're into that, he's got Nurgle. I've got Tzinch. I'm awesome. Him, not so much. <laughs> but uh, head on over to Turin's channel. He's got that video up. Um, and uh, do comment, let, let us know, like I was saying, if you do want to see more of these kind of epic thematic battles. But uh, have a good one, guys, and take care.